The US healthcare system spends almost $3.8 trillion a year on our healthcare. That's a lot of money. Almost one in three of those dollars goes to waste. Patients staying longer past what it was needed clinically is almost $140 billion a year. That is a huge amount of resources that could be going instead towards giving inpatient care to some other patient. When there are situations where you either didn't get access to care or it took a lot more money to give you the care that would have been given otherwise, that's waste. Patient flow is making sure that you as a patient have the least amount of time spent for the care you needed to receive. The reason it's so important is because if a hospital can improve their flow, they can take care of 15, 20, 30% more patients with the same resources, bringing down the cost of healthcare for all of us. We often talk about an air traffic control and how critical that is to run an airport. The problem in some ways is similar in hospitals, but in many ways is far, far more complex. Half the planes, so to speak, can show up at any time. The plane could be a Boeing 787 or a twin propeller jet, and you somehow have to figure out how to take care of all of them. Today, that relies on superhuman efforts from doctors, nurses, and managers. That's very, very hard, and in the process is burning out a lot of them. Instead, what a software can do is it can look at all the different data points that exist in current systems of record, constantly giving situational awareness, anticipating what might happen, and driving action in the moment can have a huge impact. We work with Mercy Hospital in Fort Smith, Arkansas. That hospital is able to see almost 3,000 more patients a year than they did before. They were able to cut down the wait time for patients by almost 20%. And the patients getting up and leaving without being seen by a doctor also went down by 20%. The focus on operations in healthcare has been around for a while, but the ability in real time to improve operations by adapting the whole organization in the moment is very new. Most of the staff don't have time to absorb dashboards, reports, and graphs, but it's a lot more important to develop intuition in the software of what might happen, predict what could go wrong, prescribe what the solution could be, and do it in a way that the frontline members, the staff, the doctors, the nurses, are persuaded to take action. I think in 20 years, it will be expected by every doctor and nurse that they have something like this to help them execute on the, all the logistics that it takes to deliver care so that they can focus on what they trained on, which is giving the best clinical care to the patients that are in front of them.